Hello everybody, Isaac24 here, and today we have a very special unboxing coming to us all the way from Westchester, Pennsylvania. Um, this item is actually older than I am, funny enough, so we've got my knife here. Go ahead and open it up, and um, hopefully it's okay, because it sounds a little... Uh, a little bit, I don't know what you call it, jostled, but yeah. So, I guess we'll open it on the top here. Don't want to cut too deep. I'd like to try to do more of these unboxings, but I don't order that much, and when I do, I never really think to film it doesn't help that we're on a wobbly desk either. Got it. Oh, I see it. And if we look right here, there it is. The Sony Cybershot DSC T1 camera. And I was right, there isn't much packing material. Wow, this is this is a heavy box. This is a good little box too. So there it is. I bought this camera for a very specific purpose that I'm not gonna talk about uh yet. You can it, it has the uh, original Sony tape, but then taped over. Here's what the box of a T1 camera looks like. It's a massive box as compared to, like, a newer camera. Even, I mean, hell, I might even have it right here. Yeah. This is the box that my camcorder came in. And look at the difference. They're really, they're not all that different. <laughs> Times have changed. So... I guess it's resealed, but we'll go ahead and I guess we'll use this again. I just, I don't want to cut the uh, original packaging here. Got it. How, oh, because it's taped on the side. That's cool. We'll just do that then. There we go. Do not return to purchase store. Now the seller included some other things in here with it. So right here we have, this is a Memory Stick Pro Duo. Um, obviously been opened. So that's cool. And it is... <laughs> Two, 256 megabytes. Wonderful. That's back when Sony was proprietary. We have a little tripod thing. I actually have one of these, but it's nice to see another one. This right here is the battery charger. It's an aftermarket battery. This is some sort of, um, not really sure what it is, but some sort of connector. We have the battery itself. Actually, it might just be the instructions. Nope, there's the battery. Aftermarket battery, which, eh, it's brand new, so I don't know if that's a bad thing or not. I will say that I got this for an absolute steal. I paid, well, let's just put it this way. It was very, very, very cheap. This is the camera. We'll leave that for the last part. This is, I believe, looks like something, I don't know. I'm not really sure what this is for. Uh, some sort of cord. This looks more like a, that's got a USB which says Sony, and it goes, looks like into here. It is. Some sort of connector. This is, um, 
Looks like it does that, maybe? Yeah, this is very cheap. We'll have to be careful. Oh, I see what it is. This cord goes like that, and then this goes into that base. Okay. Let me see if I can't get some of this. There's some SD cards and stuff sitting over here. This right here is a Memory Stick Duo adapter. Cool. We have the original info booklet. The old school uh, CDs that Sony used to include. A very cheap CD, but that they used to include. My TX5 had that. Tons of different window, <coughs> excuse me, Windows 98 papers. Notes, they talk about putting the battery in. Oh, there's another one I just dropped. Probably the quick start guide. Yep. For your computer. Choose your computer environment. And finally, last but not least, we have... I'm trying to see which way this is going to come out. The camera. Look at this beauty. Battery door. Oh, there's a battery in it already. Cool. I'm not sure whether it's charged or not, but let's flick it open and see what happens. Well, uh, <laughs> it definitely needs to be charged. It is very, very, uh, um, very low, but yeah, no memory stick. So there's auto 20. Oh, the, uh, the clock is right. And uh, everything's right except for daylight savings. Um, we'll close this here. Let's put the memory stick in. Give me a second here. All right, folks. So I was a bit wrong in this instance. So still haven't found the memory stick. I messaged the seller real quick just to see what's up because it's supposed to have one. Um, but I was a bit wrong here. So this middle mode is photo mode. And with no memory stick, it will, um, not that, it will take exactly one photo and then write over it. So this top is actually video mode. And now if I do that, we're recording. Well, wonderful. All right, everyone. So that last segment you saw was filmed yesterday. So it's a day later and, um, no, I could not find the memory stick. And yeah, the camera's not sitting, but so I contacted the seller because it was in the uh, description and got no response. Um, I mean, as much as I don't want to do it because he had a hundred percent feedback, I'm going to have to give him a negative review. I mean, it's unless he responds within the next few hours, I don't know what else to tell you. So what I did is I started looking on marketplace and looking for memory sticks I even asked on Facebook, said any of my local friends have one kicking around in their basement. Um, and uh, no, nothing, pretty much. So just for the hell of it, I went back on eBay. You can find plenty of memory sticks, but I sorted by local, just for the hell of it. And I got one result. Turns out, some guy about five miles from me was selling these. These are Lexar brand memory stick duos. Four gigs a piece, and there's three of them. I won't say how much I paid, but let's just say that considering how cheap this was, this was almost the same price. Brand new, sealed, whatever. Um, and Lexar is a good brand. I mean, that's, you know, that's that's a good brand. Um, so I messaged him and said, hey, can I come get these? Because originally, I thought it was just one for the price, and I was like, oh, that's a lot. He's like, no, you get three for that price. So, yeah. Um, the only link that we're missing now is um, I'm going to have to find a way to get these onto a computer. So I'll have to get an adapter. But let's go ahead and open one of these up. Uh, let's see. This is almost like a double unboxing. Oh, I see right here. 
Got it. Wow, that's hard to open. Oh, I see it. It's right here. Oh, that's weird. Uh, oh. So that is what a memory stick looks like. So, we'll take the T1. We will... Not that way. This way. Slide it in. And we'll turn it on. Recorder, recorder folder. So now, let's take a picture. Oh, the flash came on, whatever. And, of course, video mode. This is a recording on the T1. That's what it looks like. It's 2004. 640 fine. Alright, that's enough. We'll turn it off. So, yeah. I guess you can say this is kind of a... It's a sad result, but at the same time, in the end, I ultimately came out ahead, so... Yeah, and then I think also, I, I didn't demonstrate this before, but if you want to see this, I guess I can see if I can show you. So this camera doesn't actually have a tripod adapter on the bottom, which is kind of funny. So I believe it goes like that. So, yeah. That is the two-part unboxing of the old-school Sony DSC T1 camera. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe and click like if you like what you see. And follow me on the web at Isaac24.com. Bye-bye.